A Doll's House is a novel published by Henrik Ibsen in 1879. It begins with Nora Helmer arriving home after a little Christmas shopping. She eats a macaroon and checks to see if her husband, Torvald Helmer, is home. He is, and he comes out of his study where he has been working. Torvald teases Nora. First, he teases her about the money she must have spent out Christmas shopping. Nora feels that they can afford it since Torvald has gotten his new job at a bank. They had before been in financial trouble, but finally got themselves out of it. Even still, Torvald reminds her that he only gets paid four times a year. Nora reasons that if they run out of money, then they could always take out a bank loan. Torvald gets very angry at this suggestion. He hates borrowing money and can't believe Nora would even make that suggestion. But he forgives her after he thinks out loud that she's a woman and thus doesn't know what she's talking about. Then, the conversation goes to their upcoming Christmas party. They're so happy that the tough financial times are behind them. Nora makes sure that their friend, Dr. Rank, will be coming to the party. Then, there's a knock at the door, and Helmer retreats to his office. A woman named Mrs. Lind comes in, and Nora realizes it's one of her very old friends. Mrs. Lind is unfortunately a widower, without children. Talking with Mrs. Lind reminds Nora of when she almost lost her husband a year before. Torvald had gotten deathly sick, and the doctors said the only thing that could save his life was a long vacation in the sun. Unfortunately, they didn't have any money to spare. Thankfully, Nora came up with 250 pounds so they could go. Nora claims that her now deceased father gave it to them. But she hints to Mrs. Lind that it came through other means. Mrs. Lind has come to Nora to ask for help in finding a job. Mrs. Lind is hoping that Torvald can get her a job at the bank. Mrs. Lind says that Nora can't understand her struggle, as she's a child. She hasn't ever had to struggle in her life. Mrs. Lind has offended Nora, who defends herself and says that's simply not true. Nora confesses that when Torvald refused to get a loan for their trip to Italy, Nora got one herself. Since then, she's been saving money to make the loan payments. Then, Torvald comes out of his study. It seems that Torvald will be able to find Mrs. Lind a job. Krogstad, a bank employee, comes to Helmer's house. Nora speaks with him, and Krogstad states he knows Torvald plans to fire him. Krogstad asks Nora to help him keep his job. When she refuses, he blackmails her. We learn that Krogstad is the one who lent Nora the money. Even more, Krogstad gets Nora to admit that she forged her father's signature on the loan document. This is a serious crime and threatens to upend her life. Nora foolishly dated her father's signature as October 2nd, even though he died on the 29th of September. In Act 2, it's Christmas Day and Nora is going crazy with worry. She wonders if Krogstad could actually ruin her life. Then Nora talks with her nurse. The nurse suspects that Dr. Rank, the family friend, is the one who provided Nora with the 250 pounds. Nora dismisses this suggestion. Then Torvald gets home and Nora begs him to not fire Krogstad. Yet Torvald refuses. Torvald is planning to give Krogstad's position to Mrs. Lind. Torvald boasts and states that his reputation is perfect. He can't work with someone with a bad reputation like Krogstad. Then he sends a messenger to deliver Krogstad's dismissal. Nora begs him to bring the messenger back, but Torvald refuses and goes into his study to work. Later, Dr. Rank confesses his love to Nora, but she rejects him. Krogstad comes to Nora's house and threatens her again. This time, Krogstad wants a higher-up position and is willing to blackmail Nora and her husband to get it. 
Krogstad leaves after having dropped a letter in Torvald's mailbox. This letter details Nora's crimes. Torvald tries to get to his mail, but Nora keeps preventing him. She says that she needs help with her dancing and occupies him for the entire night. In the meantime, Nora sends Mrs. Lind to try to get Krogstad to reconsider. It's now Act 3, and Mrs. Lind is speaking with Krogstad at the Helmer's house. Krogstad is bitter towards Mrs. Lind. We learn that Mrs. Lind left Krogstad after a richer man came around. Mrs. Lind defends herself. She says that she only did what she did to provide for her mother and her two young brothers. Unfortunately, Krogstad was not a reliable source of income in the past. But, Mrs. Lind says that they are both single now and could live their lives together. By the end of their talk, Mrs. Lind convinces Krogstad that he should leave the letter and allow Torvald to read it. She thinks that the secrecy is toxic. Torvald finally reads the letter from Krogstad and he is enraged. He even says that he doesn't trust Nora to raise their children any longer. Nora will remain in the house, but only to keep up appearances. Then, another letter comes from Krogstad, and it's the bond. Krogstad has decided to forget about the matter, and the Helmer's reputation is secure. Unfortunately, the marriage is completely destroyed in Nora's eyes. Nora realizes that Torvald never loved her. Instead, he loved the idea of being in love with her. She realizes that she needs to educate herself. She realizes that she has a responsibility to be more independent. She needs to defend herself in the complicated world she lives in. She even begins to doubt her religion. She is sick and tired of men telling her what to think. For once in her life, she's determined to take her life into her own hands.